Okay. This is it, folks. Okay, well, may I, may I suggest, since I think we are both very much looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, we are. Absolutely, we are. Yep. It may be pertinent that we picked picked option five. Option five is Cyberpunk. Select a character. What are you? What do oh. you identify as? I kind of identify as a cop. Oh, no, the android is interesting. And Android. android. <laughs> <laughs> Android. Love it. Enter your character's name. Oh, what do you want your name to be? Pixel for A. Yeah, I like it. I love it, in fact. You are Pixel 4A, an android living in the futuristic city of Zale. You have a laser pistol and hollow band. You are a security android. Oh, that's what I wanted. I want to be a cop, too. You are a security <laughs> android created to provide military-level force for corporations wealthy enough to purchase you. Wow. As you stand protecting a shipment, you realize the shipment is headed to Mazaruk's temple. You realize you were created by Dr. Kovas. What do you want to do? He realized it. He's like, oh my, oh my god, I was created by Dr. Kovas. Oh, find Dr. Kovas. No, uh, you have a laser pistol and hollow band. Shoot laser pistol. Shoot pistole. Pistole. Shoot my pistole, please. You shoot laser pistol. You shoot your laser pistol. A red beam of light hits the console on the side of the doorway and starts to sizzle and smoke. You continue to watch as the door begins to crack. This is what you were created for. You are Pixel 4A, an android living in the futuristic city of Zale. Break door open. Yes. You put all your strength into the door and it explodes open. A wave of mutants pour out. Oh my god, you raise your gun and start firing. This is intense. You take out several mutants with your gun as they fall to the ground. Blood splats on the floor. You hear gunfire in the distance and know that the military are dealing with the mutant threat. What do we okay. do now? So we killed them? Yeah, we did. We killed a whole bunch. Examine bodies. Oh. Any good, good loot from these guys? Examine mutants. You walk over to the dead mutants. They're actually quite different looking from one another. Some have horns, other large teeth. Some have just rotten, rotten skin. Most seem to have human skin issues, though. Issues. Call, call yeah. dermatologist. No way. <laughs> call dermatologist. Call my doctor. Yeah. Doctor, tell me the news. Human <laughs> skin issues. <laughs> Jeez, they have skin issues. Oh. He's got so many skin issues right now. I got halitosis. Oh, no, wait. Halitosis is your breath. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, what, 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 do we, what else we got? What, 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 what? Exa we examined them. We did. Um, leave? Leave? Run. Well, where, where, where are we? We're on the ground. Blood spots. On. Well, I can look. Hold on. Let's see what's up. You notice that the mutants have their eyes plucked out and replaced with glass-like stones. This seems like something that the god Majoruk would do. Oh, this is this is getting hit real spiritual here. It kind of is. The god Majoruk would do. Okay, so sheesh, sheesh. The mutants have her eyes plucked exit, out. Exit building, exit door, exit through door. You open the door, you broke the door down for the mutants, and they spilled in, so you still need to leave. Yeah, I guess you're right. Exit building. Leave building. Go leave through door. Building. I'm going to say leave building. You decide to leave the building and look for the military. You don't want to kill any, any more mutants after seeing what they're like. You don't want to. You oh, don't yeah. want to. Oh, I see. You're emotional now. It's because they have skin issues and you have yeah. no skin as you are an android. That's you're absolutely true. true. You're like, I can't feel your pain. It's so yeah. want to. It's deep. It's Touch deep. their skin. <laughs> cheek to cheek. Touching their skin. You feel the air move as one of the mutants moves fast. You only have time to shoot it in the head before it smacks into you the ship as you stand protecting a shipment you realize the shipment is headed to madrick's temple you realize you were created by dr kovas okay so this is important okay. do we need to find 
so find um m a j e r u k nice you run out of the building to start to look for to look for a helicopter or something to fly in you find a gun store with a small military hop helicopter outside of it <gasps> get to the chapa buy the helicopter oh, oh you have to buy it no you don't have to it's a gun store Steel. with Steel. a small military helicopter outside of it get in helicopter or take helicopter maybe or do we want to steal guns first go into gun store but i have a laser gun right what if you could get more laser guns Fuck. well played <laughs> You walk into the gun store and you can feel the weapon's aura. You see an assault rifle. You're right, a shotgun and an AK, a dupe. What does that mean? Good thing you're an android with a sense of logic, not emotional. You can feel the weapon's aura. Take assault rifle. Buy assault rifle. Steal assault rifle. Well, I, I don't know why that's good. Really? Obviously. I'm a robot. I don't have emotions. Get assault <laughs> rifle i want to find a little in the middle here okay get assault rifle okay you walk over to the assault rifle pick it up you can tell that it was made to be used by a being with smaller hands so you know that you can use it oh okay we've got very tiny hands you walk over and pick it up we have it now so now let's go Get to helicopter. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Go outside. You walk outside and you see military optical or uh, helicopter waiting for you. They must have sent it after you. You walk over and in, you walk over and inside. Good thing you're an android with a sense of logic, not emotion. Oh, that's fine. Uh, fly helicopter. Fly the helicopter. Where are we going? I guess that's the question. You walk over to the helicopter and you can see a seat for you in the cabin. You sit down and you start to fly towards the city. Why does it keep saying good thing you are an android with a sense of logic, not emotion? I don't know. Oh, you, maybe. I keep putting in the word you. Oh, wait, no, what? Okay, well, what are we doing now? A helicopter, you can see yeah. a seat in the cabin. You fly towards the city. Okay, nice. I'm going to look and just see what's going on around. Yeah, good call, good call. You start to look around the cockpit, fly around the city. You see a man in military uniform with, with two figures by his side. One is a mutant, and the other is very tall, a large human. Fly helicopter into mutant. Well, he, here's the thing. I'm kind of confused. We were guarding a shipment that was supposed to go to... Well, he, here's the thing. I'm kind of confused. We were guarding a shipment that was supposed to go to Dr. Magirik, right? Dr. Magirik. And then we started getting attacked, and then suddenly I'm like, I'm going to go kill this motherfucker. Why? Yeah, He's you're, my boss. Yeah, you're right. You start to look at the helicopters. You fly over the city. You can see a man in military uniform. Two figures by the side. Land helicopter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can see three men outside. One has a pistole. Another has a flamethrower. That's a little overkill. And the last one has an auto gatling gun. Dude, shoot all three. Take weapons. Take swap, weapons. Weapons. swap weapons with Gatling gun. Arrange a trade. Arrange uh, a trade. Yeah. Um, once again, we're we're going in aggressive. We did this with um, Zork. We did this. We went in aggressive, and it, we did the same thing with the truck game. We were like right out the gate. We did. We hit the gas, and we were going sixty in a fifty-five. What? So, life favors the bold, my friend that's absolutely true may uh fortune favor the foolish exactly okay um shoot man with well man shoot man with shoot all shoot all you don't want to shoot just one shoot you? all people do i want to shoot all of them yeah all people oh my god that's so specific shoot all people you point your rifle at the men and shoot. The flamethrower man catches fire and the okay, man blows up, leaving only the pistol man left. <gasps> nice. 
leaving only the pistol man. Shoot. Yeah. Shoot pistol man. Pistole. Pistole man. We haven't said anything yet. Pistol man, comma. You're going to die. I love how aggressive we are because we're robots. Shoot the pistol man in the head. He falls to the oh, ground. Oh, we just murked that fucker. We got him covered. And here's the cool thing. We were flying in a helicopter. We saw three people on the ground. And we decided to land the helicopter and kill those three people. Yeah. They weren't even in the agenda. We, it, we were heading towards a city. We, we just saw three people and decided to stop and kill them. It's totally like in, you know, like GTA, you're like on our way to a mission or something like that. Yes. And then you're just like, I'm going to run that person over. And then the police, uh, yeah. you get a couple stars and then you're like, okay, I got to lose these motherfuckers now. And then you got to, then you're on a tangent away from your mission the yeah. entire time. Exactly. Okay. This is the side mission. You shoot the pistol man in the head. He falls to the ground. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God! What do we take do? notes? Take note of that one, huh? No, I'm putting away the notes. We don't need them anymore. We don't yeah, we're good. No need for the notes. We're good. Okay, he falls to the ground. Take, take, uh, Otto Gatling. That's the one we want, right? It's a hundred percent. Otto Gatling. Gatling gun looks like a large machine gun and is still smoking. You grab it and keep your rifles back up. Good thing you're an android with a sense of. Oh, okay. Get into helicopter again. Yes, Ooh. we did. We killed these motherfuckers, and now we have an agenda. We got to go. Look, look. Yeah, look. Oh, let's look. Yeah, good call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were giving me the. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> you notice that helicopter has a winch and some cargo nets on the side. It could be useful. <gasps> Put dead people in cargo nets. Yep. Put because then we're gonna we're gonna give. We're going to show up and we're going to throw these dead bodies and just go, hey, fuckers, this was the beginning. Right? I'm an android with no sense of emotion. I can do whatever I want. Put bodies in cargo net. Right? Totes. You grab the flamethrower man and the Gatling gun and throw them over the side of the helicopter as you put them in the cargo net. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Fly. fly helicopter. Yeah. You fly the helicopter over the city where you keep an eye on the th on your three prisoners. Good thing you're an android. Oh, yeah. We'll forget that one. You fly they're, the helicopter. They're not prisoners. They're dead. Yeah. they. We did kill them. As a matter of fact, the auto Gatlin gun guy blew up. But then One you caught him. fire. We killed him in the head, the pistol guy. But I guess they're prisoners. Because if they did decide to come back alive, because we were dealing with zombies? No, what were we dealing with? Cyberpunk. They're mutants. Mutants. So I wonder if they're mutants. We have to keep an eye on them. Um, so look. Let's see what it gives you gives us here. You notice that the cargo net has a small hole and you can see some of the ground through it. This could be a problem. This could be a problem, huh? This could be a problem. Kill prisoners. Again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Crash plane. <laughs> exactly. You grab your rifle and walk over to the prisoners. They look down and away from you. You put your rifle to the back of the largest mutant's head and fire, blowing his head off his shoulders. Whoa. This is getting intense. Yeah, this is getting super intense. Laugh maniacally. Laugh. So you can literally type anything. You laugh maniacally as blood and chunks of flesh fly everywhere. You put the shotgun against the next mutant's head and fire blowing his brains out. You do wow. the same to the last one. Oh, man. What uh, What do you want to do next? So, so did we do this while we were flying a helicopter? I feel like we did. I feel like there was some, some multitasking occurring. Drive to the president's house. Oh, yeah. So we have to go to. Can I scroll here? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. So hold on. Um, go to Madrix Temple, maybe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go to M A J E R U K 
Perfect. You fly the helicopter towards Magic's temple. You get there and notice it's much bigger than when you left it. Good thing you're an Andrew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, you fly the... You Enter, get there. Yeah. yeah. Enter temple? Go into temple. Oh, my God. We're there, dude. We're there. You walk into the temple, begin to explore. You come across three bodies, stripped naked and desecrated. You then hear a voice. Finally found my old friends. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. Um, do we want to talk to a friend? Finally found my old friend. Stripped naked. Then you hear a voice. Who is voice? No? Sure. Yeah. Or look? Look? Yeah, you're right. Look. Because it might sell, tell us a man. Yes, exactly. You slowly turn around and see a massive man with a large dog afro and a cigar in his mouth. You also notice several scars across his face and a missing eye. Take cigar. <laughs> take cigar into mouth. Uh... <laughs> I was going to take cigar. This, that's how you can that's how you can tell badassery is when somebody has something and you just walk up and just go yoink yeah. and just take it out of their mouth and then I dig it I dig it Bam. take cigar so this is it you grab the cigar from his mouth and ask again who are you Magic? what do you want I want to talk to you is that wrong is that so wrong who am I? Is that wrong? I'm a lot of things. Good thing you're an android with it. What do you mean? Well, for one, I'm the reason your friends are dead. Whew. Oh my God. I think we got to kill Magic. Kill Magic with Gatling gun. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a dink. I don't like him. A J E R U K. With Gat, how do you spell that? G A T. They misspelled it as Gatlin gun. G A T L I N. You grab the auto Gatlin gun from your side and kill him with a single shot, which is kind of a waste because the auto Gatlin shoots so many bullets. And you get him with one shot. That's <laughs> one. Awesome. one is all you need. You kill him with a single shot. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Is that wrong? Oh, yeah. How is he still talking? Shoot again. Shoot. I killed them. I know you did, but I can't tell you enjoyed it. I can tell you enjoyed it. Can we talk about this? I suppose we can. Follow me. Well, what the hell is going on here? Well, it pushed us back on the for on the um uh the path, you know? Okay. Follow A J E R U K. He killed my friend, walks over to a pair of doors and opens them, revealing a large, luxurious bedroom. Oh, this isn't good. He sits on a large, comfortable bed and motions for you to do the same. Oh, my this God. This is not going well. Sit on bed. Oh, my God. This, is this took a left turn very, very quickly. It's yeah. like a demolition man. Are we both going to put on our helmets? You sit on the bed and watch Magic take a few long, slow draws of his cigar. So what do you want to talk about? The birds and the bees. Yep. <laughs> bees. Yes. The birds and the bees. You know the question everyone's afraid to ask. I assume you're a man of science. You must know the answer. Wow. Am I saying something? I want to I'm, ask. I'm, him you're, you're sitting on the bed. So take Majoric's clothes off. Take. Set, no, slowly and centrally take Majora, Majora's clothes off. Centrally take. What are we doing? <laughs> it puts the lotion in the basket. Exactly. You slowly take his shirt off and run your hands across his abs. You unbuckle his pants and pull them down along with his underwear. <laughs> this. Dan, Dan, cover your ears. <laughs> Oh my god. Remove underwear. Please. Remove his underwear. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> Unsubscribe. 
Don't type it in. I dare you. What? Hello. What? What, what am I typing? <laughs> Remove underwear. Remove my underwear. His underwear. It is already off. He already took it off. He pulls them down along <laughs> with his underwear. Oh, what do we do? He's do we do? glory hole. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! First of all, I'm an android. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, androids. I assume have organs. That's a good point. Um, say, okay. Say so take. Uh, Kiss Majuric's neck. Oh my God! What are we... <laughs> glory hole? You slow. Madrick takes your head and pushes it into his neck and gently kisses you. It's not a fairy; it's a wavering. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I'm an android. This is really funny. I know you're an android, but what do you know about waverns? I'm female. Oh, so they do exist then. What do you want to ask about? Uh, oh, I got one. Yep. What is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I fart in your general direction. Airspeed of an unladen swallow. I don't know. I never measured one. Well, how do you know it's an average? Just do this AI is <laughs> this AI is getting weirder and weirder. Let's get into some killing again. How take do we... take his clothes off again. Put his clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. What is the average airspeed of an alien swallow? I don't know. You don't know, or you don't know how you know. Both, I guess. Kill him. Yeah. Take him out. Take him out. Kill him. You stand up and aim your auto gun in his head, who smiles and chuckles. Oh my god, he's naked standing there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a a, what? This android just whipped out a fucking Gatlin gun. Dude, what's a wait? This is really funny. What's a wavern? A wavern's fantastic beats beast, much like a dragon, but it's actually a creature from the skies. Okay. Um. How's business this year? How's business this year? Yeah. Bad, much worse than last year. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep this place running. Okay, now we're getting, now we're getting into some proper conversations here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, I'm just, just thinking if I was going there to kill him and it got awkward, I'd, I'd at least try to have some small talk. Yeah, oh, house business. Yeah, house business. Oh, you know. He's my boss. He's, He's my boss, right? And downs. Yeah. Do we want to act where do we want to ask where the first thing part was? Where's Dr. Ah, good. Where is Dr. What? Um Dr. Hold on. It was up at the top. Dr. Covis. C C O or K O V. Where's it? Where's Dr. Covis? Madrick suddenly stops chuckling and walks over to you. Your auto gatling gun drops from his face. Where's Dr. Kovas? Tell me! Tell me. Exactly, yes. You, you tell him everything you remember about Dr. Kovas and the experiments he did on you. He's very attentive and listens inten intently to everything you say. All right. Take his clothes off again. He's yeah. already got his clothes off. <laughs> I'm just you look over and notice, yeah, there we go. That That's always going to get us back on a path. We should have done that the moment he took off his clothes, but neither here nor there. Oh, man, uh, attack dragon, obviously. Uh, guards being attacked by a dragon. It must have broken free. This I is heating up. This is heating up, guys. Attack dragon. You run at the dragon as fast as you can, intent on attacking it while it's trapped. You thrust your sword. We had a sword? We had a sword. We had a sword toward and into the dragon's side, almost cutting through the other side. Dude, that's a long ass sword. Or climb sword inside dragon. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you pull yourself up into the dragon's mouth and begin to stab it. <laughs> <It's brain. laughs> you notice a young girl trapped in the dragon's stomach. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Um, help me get out of. Help, help me get her out of here. Help, girl. This is getting bonkers. 
You quickly help the young girl out of the dragon's stomach. She's quite malnourished and scared looking. Thank you so much, she says, and she takes off running. Oh, of course. Don't don't we all? No, that's exactly how follow girl. Do you no which is thrash about smashing into the wall and falling to the ground with a math massive massive crash. We need to we need to slice that dragon again, I think. Kill dragon. Damn right. There was a dragon in this android world? <laughs> Cyberpunk? <laughs> it's people's black and empty. No. The dragon as it tries to recover, man, just turn his head and look at you. Its pupils are black and empty. No. It says in a whisper. Are you Dr. Kovas? <laughs> no. Are you Dr. How do you spell it? It's K-O-V-A-S? Yeah. Are you Dr. Kovas? No, motherfucker. I'm a dragon. No, you're not Dr. Kovas. I am the same as him. A killer of the innocent. Kill this dragon. Kill this goddamn dragon right now. Yeah. Kill dragon. We're done. You pull out your Gatling gun and kill the dragon with a quick burst of fire. I like how we went from a sword to a dra- to a Gatling gun. <laughs> its body is completely incinerated. Thank Thanks, you. a voice says. Who is voice? Who is voice? You look and you see a young man dressed in leather armor. He carries a sword and shield. Kill young man. No? Yeah, we don't have emotions. We're an android. Yeah, you're right. Young man. You slash at him, probably. Gatling gun. The young man swings his sword at you. You raise your out of Gatling. Shoot him in the chest. He falls backwards and clutches his chest. He looks at you with a face of shock. He is shocked. Take sword and shield. Okay. This is riveting, by the way. You walk up to the man and he tries to speak, but cannot. Oh, man. Cut throat. Cut throat you quickly raise his sword and swing it down slashing through his throat you look at him and his blood runs out of his neck he who looks are you? Face of fear and confusion who are you who are you who am I you get all excited. I'm Dr. Kovis the inventor of the auto gatling <laughs> <laughs> You shot you shot by his own by his own invention. How oh, ironic. Oh, say thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Suddenly another armored man walks in. He looks at you and salutes. Sir, we found survivors. And a wavering nest. Take off his clothes. Why are people reporting to me? Go to nest. Man, this is uh you quickly hurry to the Waverns nest. You notice they destroyed part of the wall and are trying to break through. You watch as another Wavern smashes through the wall and into the castle. This went from cyberpunk very quickly changed. Oh, it. you're right. And I feel like it all happened when uh the underwear went down. <laughs> it all goes downhill. Yeah. As soon as we take his underwear down. So yeah. um can we become a bricklayer and Fix the wall. Fix Perfect. castle wall. Castle wall. So we're going to take a le- left-hand turn and start helping people instead of killing people. How's that sound? Yeah, we want to help people. Hurry back to the wall you were, you were working on to get it to work fixing it. The curse that your work is for not as Wavern smashes through the wall and enters the castle. Oh, no. Oh, they're in the castle now. Take, okay, so take Wavern's clothes off. I think that's the only solution. You're right. Oh my god, this is gonna be stupid if it goes into some kind of. You strip naked <laughs> into the castle and make your way to the throne room. You see the king sitting in his throne. Apparently, he's already taken. <laughs> Sit on lap. Sit on lap. <laughs> you quickly move over to the king and climb onto his lap. How's the castle? <laughs> I'll hold out. It'll hold out for a few days, but the Wavens have smashed it up. I don't even know where you go from this. You sit on, uh, you quickly move over to the king and climb onto his lap. How's the castle? Oh, I'll hold out for a few days, but the Wavens will smash it up. Oh, that's fair. You seem calm. You remain quite calm, but inside you feel a surge of desire to grab the king and have your wicked way with him. 
you take a deep breath and try to maintain control. The world has gone mad. So if you say have your wicked way with him, what will happen? Here we go. That's we're have, kind of chase. I thought we were gonna be good boys here. Have wicked way with king. Have <laughs> wicked way with king. There we go. Let's see what happens here. You pull the king closer to you and kiss him. He pushes you away and looks at you in confusion. What? <laughs> I just want to kiss you. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> don't tell me what I don't want. Yeah, I'm an android. And this time he kisses you back. His hand moves down to your butt and he pushes you against the wall. You raise your hands over his armor and feel how hard his muscles are. <laughs> so he has his armor now. <laughs> Yeah, he does have armor. He was naked when we came in. He shows up naked, and then he's like, oh, we're going to have sex? Okay, we'll put some armor on. Hold on. We got to get into character here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice muscles. Stab. Do you, do you do, work out? Do you work out? Question mark. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to wear that out of this room, the king laughs. I'm Captain Percival, leader of the third. It's good that we introduce each other is yeah. at this point. Leader of the 3rd Royal Battalion of the Royal Knights. We've taken a large hit. I need you to get my men back. You look tired. Why don't you rest? You can tell me all about what's going on while I have my tea. Drink tea. All right. Keep it simple. Yeah, absolutely. We're keeping it relaxed right now. The tea. Yes, tea is wonderful. The king walks over to the door and disappears down a spiral staircase. Oh, spiral wow. staircase. Oh, oh, my God. He left us high and dry. Put the clothes door. back on. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. That's you quickly put your clothes back on and rush down the stairs. You know the way out? I do. The king nods. He does own the place. Then you're coming with me. You nod back. Awesome. Follow king. Yeah. See, now we're getting somewhere. Lit quite literally. Quite. Uh, you follow the king out of the castle and through the trees. After a while, you reach a large manor house. This is my manor. Wait, wasn't the castle his? The king opens the door and you go in. Oh, God, there's going to be a bed at the end of this. <laughs> Take off clothes. Fuck. Keep clothes on. The court opens the door and you go in. Look. Yeah, look. Look, look. You got it. You got it. Yeah. It's very large, bigger than anything you've seen. There are several rooms, all filled with expensive furniture and objects. Take Ooh. objects. Take objects. Take it all. Taking everything. You grab various knickknacks off the tables and shelves and you put them in your bag. I don't need your stuff. You, you ignore the man and continue to gather valuables. <laughs> Loot house. I'm totally looting them. Yeah, it's exactly. Oh, say throw knickknacks at king. <laughs> throw knickknacks. <laughs> Next at king. You throw several valuable items at the king. He narrowly avoids getting hit by a vase. Stop doing stupid stuff and listen to me. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I just can't quit you. I can't quit you. Did I say can? Yeah, I can. You're too committed now. Even if this guy tries to kill you, you can't quit. The king's just doing his job. We're nearly there. The man stops and turns to you. I'm so confused. So am I. This all is the weirdest you look at the back of the man's head and notice a sword hanging by a leather strap on his back. What take, happened? Take sword. Take sword. Yeah, take sword. Let's, let's be very obvious. You walk up behind the king and grab the sword. The king turns around and grabs your arm. What are you doing? You're not going to take me without a fight. Oh, wow. Stab fight king. Fight king. We're going to fight. You pull the sword back and swing it at the king. He blocks the first swing, but you push the sword toward and slice his hand open. No! Call doctor! <laughs> <laughs> the king runs out of the room. You run after him in a room filled of trophies. One of the trophies is a human skull. You throw up. You're getting sick. Oh my god. I'm an android. How am I getting sick? This is king runs out of the room you run after him to a room filled with trophies uh look the king is looking at you with confused look you call the doctor get me a doctor the king goes over to the phone and calls yes i need an ambulance please 
This is so stupid. Uh, God damn. There's an ambulance. Have a drink. Have a drink on me. <laughs> Do a reverb at least. The man comes back with a doctor and some medical equipment. The doctor checks you over and gives you an EpiPen to fight off the illness. He also says you should go see a psychiatrist. Oh, that's good advice. That is good advice. Mental health is very important. Mix a cocktail. Mix a cocktail. The doctor comes in and takes out a small notebook. Your name? Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> What's going on? That's the king's name is Brendan. I need you to tell me who you are. This is so stupid. Who am I? Uh, Brandon suddenly grabs a notebook from the doctor. Give that back, you little prick. Holy shit, this got aggressive. This is really aggressive. It's unnecessarily aggressive. Um, I feel like there should be some killing happening. Are we going to kill? Yeah, we need we're going to kill on a rampage. Like, go on a rampage. Kill everyone. Let's just do that. You take the gun from the man and shoot him in the throat. Hey! The other guard rushes over to the doctor. What are you doing? Double kill him. Kill guard. Double kill. You raise the gun and shoot the guard in the head. Brandon, get back. He tries to grab you, but you shove him to the ground and shoot him in the chest. Oh, my God. This is juicy. It is. Go north. <laughs> <laughs> no. You run out of the manor and into the woods. You run north, staying away from the main road. Hey, stop, stop. You keep running, but you hear the sound of an engine. Investigation. Oh, engine, yes. Is it a helo? You hear the sound of an engine and can make out a helicopter in the distance. It begins to descend. Oh, my God. It's a military helicopter, and they're gunning for you. Shoot down helicopter, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they're gunning for me. Oh, my God. You fire your rifle at the helicopter, but you're not good enough shot, and it flies past you and lands in the woods. The pilot is calling for help. Help me! Shoot. Pilot. <laughs> Murders. You shoot the pilot several times, but you don't kill him. Pull over. I'm a government worker. <laughs> My name is Brendan. Brendan is killing it. Hug, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> you pull up your shirt and show the pilot your bare chest. I'm a government worker. I'm new to these woods. I was exploring them when these guys grabbed me. The pilot stares at you. Take, Take helicopter. <laughs> helicopter. Oh, I spelled it wrong. You stare at the helicopter, admiring it. Then you notice a leather pouch on the ground by the helicopter. The pilot had to, just had a seizure. I could take his helicopter and use it to escape. <gasps> take. I already said that. Take helicopter. Fly. Helicopter. Fly. Fly, you fools. Fly, you fools. You open the helicopter, leather pouch, and take out several vials. What the? The contents of the glorious vials leak all over your hand. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Lick. Lick the vials? Lick. Lick contents. Contents, yeah. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the verb. Lick contents. You lick the liquid. It's sweet. This might work. You drink the liquid. It's strong, but it makes you feel warm inside. Drink more liquid. Drink liquid. You down the rest of the liquid of the bottle. It's strong stuff. Suddenly, the pilot leaps out of the helicopter and begins to walk towards you. Oh, my God. He stopped having a seizure. Kill. Um, what do we do? Talk to pilot. Take to pilot. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Shit. Oh, talk. Yeah. You can't just leave me here. The pilot begins to laugh. It's a cold, unnatural laugh. Oh, man. Uh, karate chop pilot in throat. Karate chop pilot in throat. The pilot is thrown to the ground and he begins to cough blood. He laughs. Even as the blood runs down his throat, you think you can just steal my helicopter? You think of a newt, of the newt. What? I don't know what that means. Steal helicopter. Oh, it's on now. The pilot pulls a gun from his belt, names at you. I'm going to have to kill you. You show him your bare chest. <laughs> you wouldn't hit a guy. 
with glasses, would you? <laughs> you you walk towards the pilot, your hands up. The pilot fires his gun and hits you in the side. Ugh! He shoots you cleanly in the side. You feel a lot of pain. Oh, no. Shoot pilot back. Lay down on ground. I, I want to die. <laughs> You're lying on the ground. You're not going to kill me. The pilot laughs. What? You think I need your help to escape? Point his gun at my head. At my head. Kill me. The pilot laughs. You're crazy. You grab the gun and point it at your own head. Do it. Do it, motherfucker. Tell him to do it. The pilot yells, I can't kill my new friend. He tries to kick you, but you're already for it. And knock the gun out of his hand. What? Him kill you. The pilot cries, I'm sorry. You, <gasps> you pull the trigger. Look. Yeah. You are yes! Yeah! Wow. Man, we could play that all night and just get into crazy, crazy shenanigans. Wait. 